In this video, we're going to solve puzzle number 219 from Expert Sudoku by Nikolai Publishing. This is the book cover right here. And what I'm going to do is what I call a Sudoku pseudo quiz. And how that works is I'm going to place a dot in one or more cells, then I'll pause, then I'll place the number in those in that one or more cells and then I'll pause and then I'll explain how I got each number. Now if you can figure out the numbers after I put the dots in, before I put the numbers in, give yourselves extra credit for that number. And if you can figure out how I got the number before I explain it, that's good too. And, and pause the video at any time if you want to take a little more time to to uh, think about it. Now at the end of this vi video I'm going to show you a very interesting thing about Sudoku. This is something that Logic Masters Germany came up with and it is really interesting. It works on every single Sudoku puzzle and it blew, my, it blew me away when I first saw it. So I'll do that at the end of the video. Now I did that and I showed that on another video already but I, I'm so <laughs> impressed with it, I want to show it again. So, all right, um, to get started, we'll do a few pretty easy numbers. Okay. That is a one, and that is a one. And that's because we've got a one here, and a one here, and a one here already. So we know that's a one. And with that one, we know this is a one because of these ones. I'll do the other three cells of that box. Now these are pretty easy. And I got the we're only missing two, six, and eight from this in this box here. We got a six and an eight here already, so no that's a two. Got an eight here, so we know that's a six. So that's how we got those. Of those two cells next. It's a three and a five, and that's because we know that we're missing only three, five, seven, and eight in this column. I mean, in this row here, row six. And we've got a seven and an eight here already, so we know these have to be three and five, and there's a five there. Again, we look at this entire row here. We're missing two, four, five, and nine. And we've got a, a two and a nine here already. So we know these are four and five, and there's a four there. Okay. These are quite easy to see also. got a, we know these are 2 and 9, the only two numbers left in this row. There's a 2 there. And then there's a 4, the leftover number from this box, box 6. Now get going to get a little bit trickier here. Okay, how did I find those? Well, I've got a 2 and a 2 here, so we know one of these is a 2. I've got a 2 here and a 2 here, so we know one of these is a 2. And using double row elimination, we know one of these is a 2. And there's a 2 there already. Now, if you're not familiar with double row elimination, go to sudokuprimer.com and look, at, look that up in techniques, and it'll explain how that works. And then once we place this two, then we know that's a two there because we have twos here already. All right, those are five and four. How did we get those? Well, we've got a five here 
and a 5 here already, so we know that's a 5. And then we've got 4s in these two columns already, so we know that's a 4. How did we know those? Well, we've got, we know these are 7, 8 twins from when we put the 3, five, three and 5 in here. So we know these are 3 and 6, but how did we know that they go where they go? Well, we've got a 6 here, and we've got a wall right here, a wall pattern. And so we know that a 6 has to go in one of these two cells. And using these ghost 6s here, we know that this couldn't be a 6 here, so we know that's a 6. The wall pattern and ghost numbers are also on sudokuprimer.com. You can go there and, and learn more about those if you're not familiar with them. All right, what is that number? Well, that's a 3. Now, how did I know that's a 3? Well, first of all, we know got three and three here so we know one of these is a three but if you look at we've got a three here but how do we know that which of these is a three that's the tricky part okay well we've got a four five and eight right here we've got a four and an eight here in row one so we know that the four four and eight have to go here in one of these three cells. And if we can find one more number that fits in those three cells, we'll have triplets. Well, this five here could go here, 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 or here, but we've got a five here already, so we know five can only go in one of these two cells. So we have four, five, eight. So we have triplets there. We've got a three here already, and, th and uh, with the four, five, eight triplets, we know the three has to go in one of these right here, one of these three cells. So we have a three here, ghost three's there, so we know that's a three right there. All right. Okay, those are the next two cells. We know that's a one. And that's a 1. Now, how did we know that? Well, if you look at row 8 here, before we place that 1, we're missing 1, 2, 6, 7, 9. Now we've got a 2, 6, 7, and 9 in this column already, so we know that has to be a 1. And then this one's pretty easy because we've got a 1 here and a 1 here already. How do we know? Or, okay, well, that is a 7. And again, what are we missing here? We're missing 2, 6, 7, 9. 2, 6, 7, and 9. There's a 2, 6, and a 9 in that column already, so we know that's a 7. Now, we can solve those two. Those should be very easy. And those are the seven, eight twins we found earlier. With that seven, we know where those go. All right, now we only have two numbers left here, so those are pretty easy. Should be able to see those quite easily. We're only missing six and eight, and there's an eight there, so we, we know that's six, that's an eight. Here we know we got six and six and a six there, so we know that's a six. We know we got six, 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 six there, so we know that's a six. OK, 
okay if we look at this uh, row right here we're missing uh, one three five seven and nine we had the two four six and eight already so we have we're missing every single odd number okay we place the nine here first because we have one three five and seven four of the five odd numbers and then we went to here place the three because we have a one five and seven there so three goes there and then we have a one and a seven so the five goes there we've got a seven so the one goes there and then seven is the last number should be really easy because they're the only last two numbers in these columns. Eight and a five. Okay. It's, there's an eight here. There's only a four and an eight missing. So we've got an eight there. So that's four. That's an eight. Okay, remember we're, or if we had our four, five, eight triplets here. There's an eight there, so we know that's a five and that's an eight. That's a three. We've got a three here and a three here already. makes it so we can find these two numbers real easily. Those should be easy to see. 7 and a 9. The only two numbers left in box 1, there's a 7 there. So that's a 1. Then we have 4 and 9 left. Got a 4 there, so that's a 9. That's a 4. All right. We've got 5 and 9 left in this column. There's a 5 there. should be easy. We only had one number missing in this column. That was a four. And then after that, we only had one number missing in this in row nine. Again, seven and two are the only ones missing. There's a seven there. These are easy too. The only number missing in that column. There's also a four there, so we knew that was a four. And then we had two and nine left, and there's a nine there. All right, we did it. I hope that uh, helped you. Now, um, if you have any questions about that, please leave a comment. And also, um, if you have any suggestions for different videos that I could do and any new ideas. I'd love to hear them, so leave a comment on that. And if you have a puzzle you'd like me to solve, um, place a comment on, uh, leave a comment about that too. Leave, leave me the information about the puzzle, and I'll see if I want to do a video on it. Okay, now I'm going to show you this interesting thing about Sudoku. There are um, 16 cells in the corners of a Sudoku puzzle. 4, 8, 12, 
16. There are also, around box 5 here, there are 16 cells around box 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And these 16 numbers are the same as these 16 numbers. And let me prove it to you. I'm just going to go through each number and circle them as I go. 1, 3, 6, 8. Okay. There's a 1. 3, 6, 8. And if there's more than one of the same number, it doesn't matter which one you circle. So 2, 9, 5, 4. Okay, there's a 2. There's a 9. There's a 5. And there's a 4. Okay. Now, 7, 4, 2, 9. There's a 7. There's a 4. 2, 9. Okay. 3, 5, 7, 6. There's a 3, there's the 5, there's the 7, and there's the 6. Now explain that one. Isn't that amazing? These 16 numbers are the same as these 16 numbers. Now try that on a couple of Sudoku puzzles that you've finished and see if it works. Do exactly what I did there and, and see if you come up with the same thing. It's pretty interesting. It blew me away the first time I ever saw it. But I've tried it on a few, a few different puzzles and it works every time. So anyway, uh, we have Logic Masters of Germany to thank for that, I guess. Um, and it's pretty interesting. Well, thank you for watching and uh, let me know what you think about uh, pseudo quizzes and uh, again if you have any other ideas that you'd like me to pursue uh, please leave me a comment thank you and I'll see you on the next video